Monique is joyful, Monique is joyful, welcome to Monique is joyful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back to Monique is joyful. If I haven't met you before, if this is your first time, or if you haven't seen me before, and if this is your first time on my channel, this is, my name is Monique, and my channel is Monique is Joyful. Thank you for tuning in today. Today, I'm going to have a mukbang, and what it will include is just some fruit, some pineapple, and some mandarin tea. Mm, because I haven't eaten breakfast today, and it's really lunch, so I guess this is going to be like, a fruit brunch okay <laughs> so um, I, and I also have my water some water and here's just water water is so good for you and you know what I've been um drinking water more regularly and it seems like the more you drink water and let me know if I'm the only if, if everybody else that drinks a lot of water feels like this when you start drinking more water it's like you um everything else with sugar in it especially like if it's not a fruit that you blended yourself anything that's not like real natural it seems like you taste all of the sugar in it like if it's not fresh fruit that you actually blended yourself or something that's not that you didn't just purchase or that you didn't just get as a smoothie made where you watched to get make made without a lot of syrup or no syrup just Everything just tastes so sweet, like almost sickening sweet. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. So I'm I missed you guys. Hi, joyful family. I hope you had a wonderful week. I'm glad to be back. And thank you to all of my joyful family who have been watching my last videos and who have commented. And please, if share and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Because hopefully one day I'll be on my way to bigger numbers. <laughs> um, and I just would like to start eating early. Let me see. Let me start eating. All right. So, um, one, thing I'm, one thing I wanted to talk about on this channel today that I saw this week. And I'm going to do, I'm going to say spoiler. I don't want to. Anybody that watches um, Snowfall, it's in his last season. I think this is the fifth season. Man, this week, it got, I mean, it's been real on that show. Like, whew, okay. If you don't know what, if you haven't seen Snowfall before, it's not for children. Um, definitely not, not for young children. It's definitely an adult program. It's about how uh, drugs started, like crack started being distributed into like started well when it was starting in California and one of the one of the main characters names what well, a main character's name is Franklin in the show and I'm gonna have to get a list of everybody's name because I've been watching that show since it started and I need to go back and write down all everybody's name and their character names but I'm just gonna tell you about the characters right now what happened so if you have not seen, I think it's the sixth episode of the fifth season, please don't watch this right now. Come back to it and then tell me what you think. But, so I'm going to give you a minute to turn it off. Turn, see you later. Come back and watch this after you watch the sixth episode of the fifth season of Snowfall that is on uh, FX. Okay? So check it out. But for the people who have seen it, Man, I was so, so upset about Jerome. I mean, like, he was a good dude. I mean, like, until he followed his wife. And I can't even think of her, her name right now. Her character name. So, look, it seemed like, you know what? When you're on YouTube or when you're doing recording, like, even when you want to talk about something for TV, I mean, even when you want to talk about something on TV, you have to write down everybody's names if you're not the person that remembers everybody's real name and their character name like me you know what I mean you have to write all that stuff down and right here this is me just talking to y'all so I gotta watch that episode because 
He was a real one. I mean, like, the money. That's what I want to... That episode makes me have, get this topic. That, that episode gave me the topic that I want to talk to you about right now today. And what I want to talk to you about today is... How much does money really mean to you, you know? Because the problem is... They were, okay, Jerome is a character who started as, he was a vet. The The setting for that show, I'm thinking it was like, it was like the 80s at this point in the show. You know what I mean? And they are in California, like, I think they in Compton or somewhere like that in California. And because he had a jerry curl, Jerome is the one with the jerry curl. And he the one that looked like he muscular. And um, let me see. His his girlfriend turned wife now. Um, because they got married on the last season, which was the fourth season, right? And um, what happened was they like she was into like he used to sell uh marijuana on on the um on the show like the first season that was he was like. Uh, local, I guess uh, he was sold marijuana. He was a retired vet. Um, and anyway, they've been together since the first season on the show. And I think his wife's name might be Candy. If I'm wrong, I'll fix it. I'll change. I'll write that in. I got to go back and watch the episode. But I'm not sure what his wife's name was. But everybody on this show does a really great job. I will say that. I guess I should have wrote down this stuff I wanted to say about the show. Because it was so good. Just watch it, guys. And then we can talk about it. Because until you watch it, it's hard to have a conversation. But tell me what you thought to the people who actually saw the show. Because it's going to get real. It got very real on that show for them. I mean, one thing about that show, Snowfall, is that... The actors are great on that show and they embody whatever. I love to see acting where the people, the actors and the actresses really, you, they show their acting chops because they embody whatever that role is. Like when I watch a person act, this is how, I mean, I think anybody that's into, and I love a good movie or a good show. You know what I mean? I watch a lot of shows and movies. When I get a chance. I can't say I even watch a lot. Because I watch YouTube more than um, regular TV. You know what I mean? Because I think YouTube is interesting too. Because you can learn so many things. I learned so much off of watching YouTube. And it's entertaining. You know what I mean? Home. Mm-hmm. Well. Let me see. But that show was really good. And basically the topic that I wanted to talk about. Look. I'm going all around. This is unscripted, honey. This is me just talking to you guys, me and you. This is just me and y'all, me and you all talking. I, mean, I want comments, likes, subscribes, shares, please. Anybody that's a big fan, let me know. Put it down there. If you watch Snowfall and how many seasons of Snowfall have you seen? Because me, I'm the type of person, I don't really watch whole seasons of stuff. But I've watched every episode of that show. I'm a fan of that show. Like, I watch every episode of that show since it's been on for five years. And there's not a lot of shows that I could say that I have watched five seasons straight and want to know when it comes on. Because they had a gap during... um during when COVID was at its highest, of course, it was like, I think they was out off for like two years or a year and a half. It was a while. And usually if I'm not interested in the show, I am not going to be able to, I won't keep watching it regularly like I did. And um, I'm trying to think, I can't think of the, the, um, the person who is the lead character. He is an awesome actor. I, I don't want to mess his name up because it's not in my head right now. Matter of fact, let me get my regular phone out so I can see. So I can, um, I should have had this out anyway, you know. But hey, this is how it is when you are um, recording. Finally, with your mukbang on. Mm. 
Vamos. All my fruit. Everything is sweet today. You know how sometimes you get some fruit and sometimes it's a hitter, but sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes it's not sweet. Don't sometimes fruit don't have a lot of flavor. But today this fruit is giving what it needs to give to me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And I'm drinking my water. It's nice and cold. It's some bottled water. Really refreshing. It's nothing as as refreshing as water when you are a water drinker or when you become one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, well, I don't want to. You're such a great actor, too. Um, and this episode, though, uh, I'm not, I'm going to not tell you all that happened, but it was really a deep episode. It was sad. It had sad points, very sad points. And I hate what happened to one of the characters named Jerome. I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened. Because if you haven't watched it, I would like you to check it out for yourself if you can. Um, but what that situation made me think of is how... You can be in a relationship and you can love someone forever and ever and ever and love them so much, but they could be so wrong for that for you and they could like just basically take your life, you know what I mean? Like tear your life apart if you let them, you know what I mean? And watching that episode gave me that topic, made me think about that because it's like even though what they were going through on, on that episode was much more deep. It was deep, but it still, like, made me think of other relationships that happen between people. You know what I mean? Where you can love someone, but you have to have a cutoff. Like, you gotta, you can't be an enabler with people because they can lead you to destruction if you let them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't control what somebody does, but you can control your response to what they do to you. You know what I mean? Like, you can't, you don't know. Like, nobody gets married or nobody dates somebody for years with the intent that maybe they won't get married unless they just don't want to be married and they just want to date and you know what I mean but other than that nobody sticks around with somebody or marry somebody and be there for him like he was for her because he was a rider for his wife I'm gonna tell you like he loved that woman on this show but it led to his downfall and it happens to men it happens to women all the time you know what I mean and I'm like, and that's where I feel like in my mind and my heart and my spirit is like when you love God and you got to put God above all and you should because he loves us so much and we don't even deserve half of what he gives us. You know what I mean? Or none. Honestly, I ain't going to say half. We don't mostly don't deserve nothing you know what I mean? <laughs> that he gives us because we are so not worthy of all that he can bless us with. And all that he does for us every day. You know what I mean? But anyway, basically, don't let, don't be Jerome. Watch the show and you'll see what I'm saying. And it doesn't have to be that extreme. But you can enable somebody to the point of just ridiculousness where you are going crazy trying to stay with them. And you putting yourself through type, all type of mental abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. Because it doesn't have to be a physical thing to be a, an abuse. I mean, and she loved him, but she loved herself more. And he didn't love himself enough to let her go. Because sometimes you, you got to choose you. You know what I mean? If a situation is not helping your life, let it go. You know what I mean? If it's like an anchor that's just... If the relationship it feels like an anchor that's just weighing you down and and you sinking and and this person not even trying to help you get up, not even trying to help you get out of it, like they are the weight and that relationship is the weight. It's time to cut that off and let it go. You know what I mean? That's the best um, analogy that I could give to that situation and to many situations like it. Like I was watching this other uh, talk show. And the one woman, a young lady, was on there talking about... I was watching Karamo. And he has a lot of these type of shows. But the one that I saw, she was on there talking about talking about how her boyfriend uh, 
she does of all this cheating on her, texting somebody right next to her on FaceTime. Her family, his family don't like her and want to fight her and all this craziness with this guy. And they just had a baby, been together for years. And the baby was a little infant still. But she still wanted to be with him. But I'm like, all that energy that she putting into him, she needs to put that energy into God and her baby. And because the person is only going to be what you let them be too. If they don't want to treat you right, then that's a man or a woman. You got to let them go. That's what that show made me think of. Because you could let somebody be the death of you. Emotionally. Mentally. Financially. Physically. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Is it really? But, that's all I wanted to say about that episode. Watch it. Episode, the fifth season, episode six. The whole season is good. You can go back, watch all the seasons. I recommend the show highly. Because there's only a few shows that I actually watch like that. Where I could tell you, you know, I don't remember all the names and the parts of the show, but I could tell you that it's a really good show. And it's worth watching. Um, it was sad. This episode real sad. Mm -hmm. so a lot of episodes really sad. But, okay guys, I thought I was going to be done in time. But, You know, time goes so fast when you are talking about something interesting. You know, get you some fruit. Mm -hmm. It's good for you. you. Want some fruit? Mm -hmm. Good pineapple. It's a mandarin. And everything. Well, let me know how your week has been, and I will get with you later, guys. And this is Monique, and my channel is Monique is Joyful. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching me, and I'll see you later, Joyful family. Have a beautiful week, and just think positive. Don't forget that you are loved, and if nobody told you to say, I love you and God bless you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.